Hey everybody, Rowan Smith here, Mountain Bush Crafters Alliance, coming back at you with video number two, prepping your hide for the tanning process, leaving the hair on. Now, first thing you want to do is get your gloves on. Want to be safe, most of all. But if you watched the previous video, this cold hide has been soaking in the pickling for nearly 60 hours. It's time for it to come out. A lot of people say 65, 70 hours. My pickling is kind of strong. I don't want to run the risk of damaging that hide. That's important. Don't want that hair to slip, but I don't want to damage the hide. Very, very acidic. Uh, in this bucket right here, we've got just clean, warm water. Nothing else. No additives. This bucket right here, about two gallon, thereabouts, we're going to put a pound of neutralizer baking soda. I'm going to stir that up. You want to stop the acid process. Kill that acidity. Now I like to go a little, maybe another step further. When it comes to cleaning the hide, I've seen guys or watch videos of guys that put them in the an old washing machine, hey, that's fine if you got that kind of uh, washing machine. Yeah. That's very acidic. Now you won't leave it just like it is. Inside out. All you want to do here is rinse it. All you want to do. Nothing more. Nothing less. Yeah, look how pretty white that is. Look at that. It's gonna be pretty now. Don't smell none whatsoever. Pretty hide, buddy. That tail. Now when you put it in the neutralizer, you want to do it just like you would when you put it in a pickling. You want to weigh it down. You can use the same piece of wood and the same block. That baking soda kill that acid. See what we got? Yeah. Look at that. That's a big old fur. Now this is step two, like I said. There's a big process to, to tan and fur. Put it right down in that water right there. That'll neutralize everything, see? Put your block back on it. Might have got too much water. Nah, it's all right. That hide will soak up a lot of that. Let's see if we're going to make it. Oh, we're going to make it. Yeah, we made it. It's a soaking it up. Yeah, that's what we're after right there now. Okay. Now, a lot of people pour out their pickling. Ain't nothing wrong with that pickling. So what we've got here, we've got a coon hide. Real pretty coon hide, look at that. First thing you want to do, you flesh them. Making sure you get all of the membrane, little tendons, little pieces of meat. And I'm going to show you a little trick to that later on in the process. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, tanning hides is a big deal. See that little bit of meat left on that? That's fine. I'll show you how to get that off later on. That's up around the ears. 
Put your little something on there. I got a block of wood right here. Put your little something on it. And it's emerging every bit. Just like that right there. Yeah. Now, that'll lay in there for 60 hours. Do the coon the same way you done the bot or the coyote. But uh, we'll leave this in the neutralizer for 24 hours. 24 hours. And there's another step that I like to do, a lot of people don't do. I like to put clean water, warm water, and a little bit of dishwashing liquid, and I'll scrub that hide. I'll clean that hide, get it ready for the next process. But uh, we got 24 hours. Uh, neutralizer still be good. Your pickling still good. A lot of people say, well, it loses some of its power. No, it don't. No, it don't. If you make it right, it won't. But uh, I've used it time and time and time over again. I got some beautiful furs put up. But we'll leave that in the pickling for uh, 60 hours. That coon hide. We'll leave the coyote hide and the neutralizer. It's almost ready for the next stage in 24 hours. That'll stop that acidity. It'll kill that acid in that uh, hide right there, that coyote hide. So we've got the coyote hide in the neutralizer. 24 hours, right? We've got the new coon hide in the pickling. 60 hours, right? Write it down. Keep up with it. So it's probably about 5 o'clock now, some, somewhere thereabouts, close to it. So 60 hours, that coon hide will come out of there. Tomorrow, we'll move on to the next step on the coyote hide. So be looking for the next video. Thanks for watching. It's Roll Smith Mountain Bush Crafters Alliance. As always, go farther and stay longer. I'll catch you out in the field.